We have the latest next on the war between Israel and Hamas. For the first time, Israel is giving a potential timeline for its ground offensive into Rafah. Abi Kouathasin has the latest. Marianne, a deadline has been set. A member of the Israeli War Cabinet, Benny Gantz, says that if all the hostages are not released by March 10th, so in three weeks' time, that the IDF troops will move into Rafah. Here's what he had to say. The world must know, and Hamas leaders must know, if by Ramadan hostages are not home, the fighting will continue everywhere to include Rafah area. We will do so in coordinated manner, facilitating the evacuation of civilians. Facilitating the evacuation of 1.4 million Palestinians who are in Rafah. We are seeing images um, on the eastern uh, Egyptian side, I should say, of the Gaza border where Egypt is building a massive cement wall. It says it's for logistical reasons to receive aid for Gaza. It denies that it is building an area to hold Palestinians who may be pushed out of Rafah. Egypt has previously said it will not facilitate the forced displacement of Palestinians. Palestinians from Gaza as Israel opposes the right of return. Now, there has been some reaction to Gantz's statement about this uh, IDF ground incursion that could start on March 10th. The Irish Foreign Minister, Mikhail uh, Martin, says that this is inhumane. Bernie Sanders, the U.S. Senator, um, has said that this is unacceptable, that the United States continues uh, to provide military support to the IDF. We know that in recent months, the United States has not limited any of its military funding uh, to Israel, given what's going on in Gaza. And we also know that the United States has already said that it will veto a draft resolution at the UN Security Council uh, on an immediate ceasefire and the release of all hostages, which is being presented by the Algerian uh, delegation. So the U.S. providing some diplomatic cover for Israel there. From the perspective of the Benjamin Netanyahu coalition government, this war will not end until there is absolute victory. They believe that there remain several Hamas battalions in Rafah, and they say until all the hostages are released, their military offensive will continue. Uh, as of right now, Mary Ann, we understand that more than 29,000 Palestinians have now been killed in Gaza since October 7th. And again, 1.4 million uh, people sheltering in Rafah amid aerial bombardment with nowhere to go.